Chronicles of Football podcast. You know how it goes. About the guests. <laughs> the guests we've got this week. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Chronicles of Football podcast. We're back in the building. We're live and direct. I'm your host for this one, as usual. I go by the name of JNR. I got my co-host sitting in front of me, live and direct, as you know. Yeah, the big father from the south side, south side of the bridge, south side of London. Talk to them, man. Let them know what your name is, big man. People, my name's Dito. <laughs> Nah, yeah. don't, don't try to be humble. You know, me. like, I have to be humble with nah, my team. Don't try to be man's pleasant bringing me in like that, like, I keep on saying it's nuts. Like, don't be humble. Them What's kind of bringing. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, how's yeah. things going? Nah, not bad. Good week? Yeah, brought my son to work. Come on. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> listen. <laughs> yeah. Hey, old type, the big, yeah. the, big, the big VN in the building. Yeah, yeah ain't going to give out the names because yeah. obviously there's a few affiliates and a few <laughs> laws and a few contracts that haven't been, you know what I'm saying, a few disclaimers and that. So we can't can't give out the govies, but yeah, big up the big VN. Yeah, out and out lefty. Yeah. Yeah, know yourself. Yeah. All right. Okay. But um, yeah, we got, uh, we got, uh, we got royalty in the building. Mm. Got my peoples in the building. We have, we have, we have. Stop so, it, stop it. <laughs> we got my peoples in the building. Yeah, but as you know, guys, we always got a, a guy, um, a guest in the hot seat, and today, um, none other than my, my, my young boy, my family. Yeah, sound like Papi Salou. My family. Yeah, I just, I just, I just, I just, I just <laughs> say, yo, what, my family. My family. What's that? What's his name? Broad, broad. What is it? Black, broad, block, G. Block, or broad, G. That's what I heard it. <laughs> but yeah, but anyway, without further ado, we're going to get into it. Uh, Mr. Kasim Sander. Welcome, sir. What's happening? I'm good, man. I'm good. Thanks for having me on the show, man. How are you doing, sir? You good? It. Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. Lovely, I'm good. lovely, lovely. How's things going, man? Things all right. You know, just working, coronavirus and that. It's life. You ain't got it, though. Nah, no, my man out oh, quick, you know. Yeah, like, I, sure. I was moving to get my mask and everything, like, all yeah. hand sanitizers yeah, and everything. I'm, 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 I'm all right. I'm all right at the moment. Nah, that's good, man. I'm that's right. good. That's good. But listen, we see how we start this podcast. We always start with one question. We end with one question. Yeah. So the question we start off with is why football? Well, um, oh. This relationship is more complicated than <laughs> the ones with my exes, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, nah, football, football is just something called, I was, uh, I would say, 10 years ago, I'd say I was born to do, um, but now I'd say I was born to be involved in, um, I think that's the direction of, grew up in a mad football home, like, my dad was passionate about Arsenal, my brother was passionate about Liverpool. And I just took it all in, mm-hmm. and then and then it became a thing for me. Like having like remember when I got my first kit, how much it meant to me. I think I'll never forget. I think what I was, was it Man United kit? No Arsenal. I replied quick. So the way you're trying to plug that <laughs> team for me, man. Relax. I replied quick. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Arsenal, Arsenal. I said United yeah, kit. Yeah, I, I, think, I think I was about six. Yeah. And I remember. Um, it was the O2, the red one with the white. Ah, uh, you get the yeah, yellow got, one got, as well. Yeah, I had the full kit. So Did we not look, win the league with that kit? Yeah, I think we won that season. No, that, I think the first time I got it was O2, O3 season. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, okay. Uh, yeah, you still like good players. Yeah, 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 yeah I know, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, like, I'll <laughs> never... tried it, really. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll well... Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, like, for me, like, Getting that kit. Yeah. I remember I went with uh, my older brother. Um, he went and got the kit. He got a Liverpool one. Though. At the time, I think it was Carlsberg White. Mm. And he got a full kit. I got a full kit. And I just remember like going home. As soon as I got home, put it on. And I was pretending to be a footballer. And yeah, my love for it was very early on. Um, I knew it was very... It was At that time, I knew it was something that... I, the only thing I wanted to be... Um, apart from my part-time WWF wrestler, but <laughs> talk about that another time. <laughs> we talk about that another time, but yeah, nah. Um, football from then on, from the age of about six, mm. is, was when I knew that I'd cry when Arsenal lost. I was really, really passionate about it. So yeah. I think it just started from 
from home, if I'm being honest. Okay. Oh, makes sense. So how did um how did that passion turn into, you know, Play. lead playing, yeah, yeah, getting the ball, kicking it around? So. Not in your house. Yeah, no. Not in your house. Because we know, know, yeah, know, we know about that. I know you was in your house yeah. mashing up two vases. We, yeah, we know about the stadium corridor and all that stuff. Yeah, the stadium yeah, corridor. The stadium corridor. Mad, we know about yeah. that. The one-on-ones in tight. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can't even get round it. Yeah. Punching him on the They can't even get round it. Yeah, so when I first... So when I first played... I remember my first official match, actually. I started football quite late. Like, in terms of actually playing for a club. What, okay. What's late? So I used to go Fulham kicks in, okay. um, in Streatham at the time. Yeah. Um, but I stopped going. I stopped what age going. was this? At like six, seven. I stopped okay. going. You, okay. Um, I think at that time I was really good. Like I just was free. Yeah. And I just did whatever I, I wanted to. Um, but I just played, just played just for the fun of it. There was nothing structured about it. It was just like literally a kicks program. Yeah. So you just go and play. Stop going to that. Um, especially because I moved from Tulsa Hill to Streatham mm-hmm. um, and um, I never really got into playing like it wasn't really my thing at the time like I'd, I wanted to play but so one of the things like your I, dad looked and found you a team and said yeah, yeah, going yeah, into that yeah, team yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. you weren't under that and then like primary school I used to have a teacher who was um, our football teacher he was like a teaching assistant but he was also our, um, our football coach so mm-hmm. he'd 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 um, He'd see me play on the playground. Yeah, big up them multiple, them multiple uh, job <laughs> you know teachers them, there. Teachers. You know them, what I mean, yeah. Janet, our teacher and coach. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> for me, like from there, he's like, yeah, now nah, come and train with us and after school and whatnot. Because he see me play in the playground before I was good. I was like, yeah, come, I'll do that. Um, and then yeah, so I'd, I've done that now. And then um, he's like, yeah, you want to play on Saturday? I'm like, what a match. He's like, yeah. I was like. Yeah, I do. And then uh, I think my dad took me. And, yeah, I, I remember, I'd like... What team was it? Do you know? I don't remember the school. So okay. it was a school. Oh, a school match? Yeah, it was a school match. So okay. I don't remember the school. And then um, I was playing, playing, playing. I was, like, playing really well. Like, it just... It sort of all come, like, natural to me, like, beating players and, and whatnot. And then... Like, I scored, and my goal was literally the flukiest goal in the world. Like, the keeper was just insanely bad. <laughs> um, but the feeling I got from it, like, yeah. at that point, I loved football, but I, literally in that moment, I fell in love with it. The goal's I, confidence can give I, someone. I, I, I literally was like, yeah. is this how you feel every time you score? What is this feeling? Like, yeah. it was like, what is going on? Yeah. Like, this is, this is real. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm on it. Like, people celebrating... My dad cheering on the side. I finished that game. My dad's calling me Ryan Giggs and whatnot. I'm like, yeah, I'm Giggsy, yeah? All right, cool. So then um, um, I've managed to, um, I've managed to, like, one of my, um, my, my, my aunties, um, her son was playing for Afrui at the time. All right. Um, she was like, yeah, do you? Oh, that's Stedman. Stedman, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Big Tony, man, Tony, man. Tony, Tony, yeah. Yeah. Tony, 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 Legends, boy. Yeah, big and, them, and, and she was like, "Do you want to come down?" And then I went, and again, big them up. But mm. the first time I went, I absolutely hated it. And the only reason why I hated it is because I wasn't used to structure. Um, I was just about to say, yeah, yeah. And, and I wasn't used to like them man are dis- disciplinarians. Yeah, I was like, no, trust 100%. me, I wasn't even a softie, so I, yeah. I, I could argue with the boys whatever it was all right but just like the regime i was like this is crazy is this what mm. football's yeah. about like i'm not really on it so i took a step back from it just carried on playing school football yeah, yeah. ripping it up um and then i went back again i went back again maybe mm. like after a month or two on your own back <clears throat> um sort of like i was like yeah. i just need to play for play a club football, now yeah, yeah. um and I, I went back um and yeah, so they signed me within like the first session. They were like, yeah, just just sign. So we signed. Yeah, played my first ever game, and I I didn't know at that time that under ten football was seven aside. All right, um, yeah, yeah. So I literally didn't know about structure. Um, so the first game I ever played seven aside, I was like, what what is, what is going on? Because even the first game I played for school was eleven aside. I was like. This is not... Uh, how do I adjust to this? So it took me a, a while to adjust to seven-a-side football. Um, 
but eventually I got there, I hit the ground running, I was flying with Afawi, flying year five and year six. Um, I think I finished year six, top scorer. Um, I still got the trophy at home, actually. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so I finished that. And then, like, yeah, at the end of year six, I was just flying, flying, flying in football. And then, bang. Then it comes to secondary school now. And I don't I don't really... I was got sort of weren't good. Yeah, I was a bit naughty in, in primary school. <laughs> the switch weren't. Yeah, I was. I was. A, it weren't smooth. <laughs> yeah, the, the, I was. I was really. Re, I was really naughty in primary school in terms of my behaviour and not like a bad kid. Like I thought I was a gangster. I was just really mischievous. You're just like, naughty. Yeah, just yeah. Dennis the Menace sort of vibes yeah. or whatever I could do to disrupt. I'll disrupt. Um, and that sort of. I got shipped to Ghana in a sense. Oy. So um, hold on. Oh, hey. You was playing football. Yeah. During that time when you was with Afui, yeah. was there any clubs that were looking at you? Or did you know any clubs? Or did um, any of the guys come up to your dad to let you let him know? About? At, the, at the time, um, funny enough, uh, I remember Afui was always, funny enough, saying, oh, Joe, I was thinking of sending you to Tottenham. I was thinking of sending you to Tottenham. I'm like, yeah, no, I'll go. Like, I don't it's an academy at the end of the day, I'll mm. go, I'll go anyway, he told me to go. Um, but that didn't ever really materialise. I think at that time, I did want to get signed by a professional club. I wanted to play for... But you just enjoyed your football? Yeah, I just wasn't in that zone. I just I just thought, when the time is right, I'm going to get... Yeah, yeah, whatever happens. Like, at that point in my in my development, I was somebody who was really, really confident in my ability. Yeah, yeah. Like, mm. really believed like I was the best. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's good. I was better than... Everyone in my team, mm. the year group above, I didn't, I was like, I thought everyone, I thought players were good, but I just thought, I'm the best here, yeah, it's mm. calm, I'm easily the best. So at that point in my career, I was like, or should I say development, not career, but at, in my development, I would just say, I would say that I was a really, really confident, confident boy. Um, and then I went to Ghana, um, transition was big. So when did you go to Ghana, year seven? Yeah. So, so, so the, start of year seven. the summer the of year seven. Or the end, which so one? Start of year seven. Start so the start of year, year seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't start. You didn't start secondary school. Yeah. 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 You so started in Ghana. I started in Ghana. Okay. okay. Cool. Um, and that was like a. In terms of football, it was a culture shock. Me right. being in Ghana wasn't. I, I grew up in a, in a, in a home where we're very proud of our culture. And yeah, like yeah, yeah. All of us embrace it. So in terms of going out there, like I, I could speak the language already. All right. When I was there, like. Had so there wasn't of, really no holdbacks when you went out. Yeah, like in terms of in like the of culture, in terms of yeah, yeah transition and yeah. culture. Yeah, transition. Yeah, so I was. It was the football. Was, yeah, it was yeah. literally okay in terms of the life side of thing. Um, football was really really different there. So you slapped and then you got remember eleven year old kid who's been playing on grass, not great grass pitches, but grass mm. comfortable. He's going to play on on sandy pitches, and um, that was like, whoa, this is crazy, and then. Um, I was playing with boys that were a bit older than me as well, and they were like physically like really strong, like mm. really gritty, gritty, gritty boys. Yeah. Mm. Um, and it was like, this is, this is not football. Like in my head, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. football to them. Yeah, yeah. But for me, this is not not football. Yeah. Not what you're like, used yeah, to. Yeah. This is not. To. Yeah. So, um, at that point, it was like really like, this is like this is difficult. But I got on with it in the first year. To be fair, I, I played. Um, I prob I did nothing in the first year in terms of how I feel like was I good in my first year in Ghana at football, um or like playing was yeah, I, yeah. I I was I wasn't performing well we should say, yeah, yeah. uh but I was learning a lot of stuff like character building wise I became very independent like in terms of I know I've got to be at training no one's really gonna take me yeah. um no one's gonna watch me. Um, I became independent in that sense. My dad would still call me and ask me, "How are you doing? How's football going?" Blah blah blah. Was your house to training like quite far, or was it? Um, it, it nah, it's all it was sort of close proximity. So I'd okay. I'd finish school. Um, my mum and dad had a shop in 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 town in Ghana. Yeah. Um, I'd go there and then I'd just get a taxi to mm, training okay. and get a taxi back. Okay. Um, and then my mum would take me home or my dad or whoever's yeah to take me home takes me home. Yeah. yeah. So um. It was it was it was all right in terms of that. Um, again, it was just weird. Like, I was I was I wouldn't say I was a big boy, but I was stocky when I was younger. Mm -hmm. um, so like, even when they're doing registrations, you are put in age groups 
fire your weight. So it's a bit like it's it's like it was literally mad. Like you stand on a scale and okay, cool. Oh, you're fifty eight kg, alright, you're under thirteen. Oh, you're forty nine kg, all right, you're under twelve. So it wasn't wow. based on yeah, show your passport, show they put your weight. It's your your weight. weight. So like your physical maturation basically in a sense. That's how they're looking at it. Right. Okay. Uh, if you're physically mature you play with the bigger play, boys. The bigger boys. Okay. Um if you're not, then you play with you the young, young, young right. a lot. So I got put a year above me. Um again I did okay. I was trying I'd had a luckily in Ghana, uh, quality of life is high. Um so in my house I had like a like a big compound, like a train. Um but I didn't. I'll be honest. Right. Rare, mm-hmm. like rare. I'll just go and kick the ball about for about thirty minutes and go inside. Right. Like, it was just more. It wasn't for development. It was just it's I just need to get out. Yeah. yeah. Um. So at the end of the first year, I finished school. I've come back for the summer holidays. Um. I've gone back to Afrique to train. Mm-hmm. Um. So I'll this go. is the summer of year seven. Yeah. So the summer. Yeah. 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 So. I come back and like I just started to feel myself again in football. All right. mm. So whilst I was training, I was like, I'm, I'm actually still decent. Like, yeah. That kind oh, of thing. You thought you, you thought you lost it a bit? Yeah, in my head, I started to think a little okay. bit, I'm losing okay. it. Because of how different. Yeah, because of how different it was. Mm. Yeah. But I went back to that I started getting the motion of the motion of football again. I was like, mm. no, I'm actually calm still. Yeah. Like, I'm decent. But I've come back and I'm hearing this guy's been signed, that guy's been signed. Um, I'm going to have to draw you out here. But Wesley Fonga was signed them times I was playing with him. Who's um, that? Wesley at Barnet now? At Barnet now. No, so. yeah. Big up Wesley, man. Yeah, big up Wes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he was at... He was at... me. And he got signed to Palace. And you got signed to Palace. And you weren't having that. And to be honest, I wasn't rating his thing back oh. then as a kid, didn't it? He knows I rate his thing now, so it don't really matter. Yeah. So you're saying um, my man done a lot of work? Yeah, I guess so. Over the summer, I was like... I was my like, man watch. done bare work over the summer. Yeah, yeah, so my... my 12 months. Bro. Yeah, so my thing was like, I come back and he'd been signed. I think Mandela had been signed. Shout out Mandela as well. Mandela um, Egbo, right? Yeah, Mandela yeah. Egbo. So right. he'd been signed by Palace. So I've come back. I actually used to rate Mandela, to be fair to him. Not okay. Wes, though. I just remember that. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, Mandela's... Um, so, sorry, they've been signed. I've come back. I'm like, wait. Everyone's... So certain people have moved on and gone yeah. on to like... And I'm hearing some players have trialled here and trialled there. And bear in mind... Sorry, sorry. You see, you said you heard they've been signed and obviously yeah. you didn't take to that, but then did you know about players being signed? Did you know about the whole academy guys? Yeah, so, so I, 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 knew, I knew there you was... You know some kids don't really know about that stuff. They I, just say, oh, I'm going to yeah, go play very for so, Chelsea or they don't really know about it. Yeah, so I knew that the, 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 the difference between grassroots and academy. Oh, okay. Okay. I think okay. back then the gap was a lot bigger because you had a lot less scouts. Okay. Yes. So it was very, yeah. very difficult to get to spotted get in the yeah. first place. Yeah. yeah. So it was, it was uh, like back then it was like, if there's a scout there, it's like, whoa, this is a miracle. We've got to step up today. Not like today where there's a scout in the, at every, every game you go. Game. Yeah, yeah, so um, for me, it was like, rah, so this is weird. And I still think I'm good enough. So played, played um, throughout the summer. Um, and I'll never forget, we had the tournament. As I was, like maybe like two weeks before I was meant to go back to Ghana, we've had the tournament now. Um, and I've literally batted it up. I've literally moved mad, scored bare goal. I was like, whoa. For after we? Yeah, for after yeah. we. Like, yeah, I'm still good. Like, mm. I'm still good. So my coach has even rung up. What were you my... playing 11 aside this time now? Yeah, or 11 aside. Where were you playing? What but, position? Oh, up front. Up okay. front at this okay. time. Okay. Yeah, so this time my dad, my dad's, um, my coach has phoned my dad, like, he's got to kind of stay, you know, like, he's got a good chance. Like, he's still got it. Like, mm. don't do it till it's too late. And obviously, I'm, obviously again, I'm not blaming my family or anything, um, but he's like, nah, he's going back. Cool. So I was like, yeah, cool. So second year, I've, I've gone back. I was gutted to go back. By the way, I was gutted. I didn't want to go back. This nah. Time. Did you have a choice, or it was nah, like you had nah, to go? Nah, bro, I think, no I think, choice. I think the first time I sort of had a choice. Oh really? Um, in a sense, but I didn't. Like <laughs> you I was, have no choice, man. Stop yeah, behave yourself. Well, yeah, Man's yeah. eleven. Yeah. Man's people are going gone now. Yeah. And you're telling me this eleven year old had a choice. All right, yeah, to, we'll drop you to your auntie. Yeah, to be fair, yeah. I didn't yeah. really bring no, you got home. Yeah, so yeah. So second, yeah, I didn't really nah. So I especially the second time, I didn't think I had a voice, like mm. in terms of convincing my dad I was like, oh, I'm going. I didn't really fight it. Yeah. I was guided, but I didn't fight it. Yeah, yeah. Um and then it was like, okay, cool. So we've gone to I've gone back to Ghana. I've gone to a new team now. I've gone to Ghana, I've gone to a new team. But the maddest thing is, the other club had to buy me. 
I'm not in Ghana. In Ghana. Had to get bought. Because once you register with a club, you have to actually officially deregister. Oh. And if you don't officially deregister, your contract yeah. just rolls. Yeah. I don't know how much money it was. Probably chicken change. It's yeah. probably hundred pounds or something, mm-hmm. fifty pounds. Mm. And then my dad paid for it. It wasn't it wasn't it was just like, let's just stop this all this long nonsense. So I've gone to a new team. Yeah. Started to do well, a bit more, pick it up a bit, getting used to the culture. Um, Did you like the new team more than the old team? Was the new team a bit more you? I, d- I just was think the facilities better, or what was it? Yeah, facilities were <laughs> no difference. I'll be honest, um, but I think so I think yeah, I feel like it was just more. I was more comfortable at the time in myself to know that uh, this is what I've, is in front of me, and this, I've just got to do what I have to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, but. Honestly, eventually, after about three months, I said, I'm not really on it. Like, so when I say I'm not really on it, I was half hearted. I'd pretend like one day I would not, if I don't fancy training, no one's telling me nothing anyway. So I'm not going. Mm. If I don't want to go, I'm not going. I'm, mm. I can't bother. So it was really like up and down in terms of my motivation um, to keep going. Um, and just skip that the rest of the season. I don't really remember if I'm being honest. Yeah. And then I've come back again. The summer. The summer. And then, um, funny enough, my old coach from Afui called me again. Um, but Afui at this time, I think, had been disbanded. So there was there no more. No Sunday. So there this was is not, the end of year eight summer. End now. of year eight, yeah. yeah. So they'd been disbanded. And, um, Too much boys were getting signed. Mm, I guess so. Everyone's gone. And, and then, then, then new yeah, crop done. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. old yeah. crop's so done. New crop really gone. Invest with de- no yeah. more crops. Now we've got to go get the under six, new <laughs> under sixes. <Yeah. laughs> Feed it up. Yeah, so my coach, my coach said, um, my coach was like, oh yeah, so um, um, his son, so my coach's son was also on my team at the I time. Feel yeah, I feel we. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, he's taking his son to Tulsa to play for Tulsa. So come Tulsa train. So I've gone to Tulsa, I've done okay. And he's like, oh, he also goes to this thing in East London um, by some woman uh, named Shawan. Um, Tulsa is that the, did they wear the yellow and blue kit? Yeah, yellow. Bro, I was just about you, you taking it out of my head. <laughs> up, Tulsa, listen, old school, old school. Old school. rivalry yeah. there. Old so they um, played in he, Ruskin Park. Mm, but yeah, mm-hmm. God, sorry. And then yeah, so she, he um, he was like, oh, "There's this woman, Joanne. She sends boys into clubs. She should come and whatnot." Right. So I've gone there blind. Like I don't. I'm just going there really to just play, play? more football. Yeah, yeah just to play. And then after the first um, session. I thought I was like very like average in the first. Year. I don't think I was really energetic, just running around. I was like I was just on it, just yeah. wanted to show that I'm still on it. And um, she just come up to me, she's like, "Do you want to go Brentford tomorrow?" I'm looking at her like, "What? Brentford? Me? Like, hundred <laughs> percent." Um, even though in hindsight, um, I shouldn't have. Um, I wasn't ready, but it was. It was, it was an opportunity and you yeah, didn't even look at it like yeah, that. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm fair. I'm not going to say Come no. on, you're going to tell you yeah. no. And then, so I've gone to this Brentford session and that's how, that day is when I knew how back I'd gone in terms of, you're not all that no more, you know. You've not mm. really progressed in the last two years. Yeah, yeah. Um, Did you just go for a training session or? Yeah, so we went for a training session at Brentford. Anyone and I, recognisable who you trained with playing today or was it just... Proper though, it's proper yeah. blur. I just because okay. I just remember how bad I was. How I yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. yeah, how bad I was. It was a blur. So I was really, really, really bad. Um, I didn't do anything worth of note. Like I was just my touch was heavy. Like I just wasn't at the races. Everyone yeah. just looked technically sharper than mine. I was mm. like, I literally was there, and I was like, I know I'm out of place. Like I left that session knowing that if they ever call me back. That is the biggest miracle I've ever seen, <laughs> but obviously they didn't. They said, "No, nah, we're, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not." You ain't coming up, mate. Yeah, <coughs> your race is run. Yeah, yeah. P forty five, mate. Yeah, yeah. Done. Nah, they said that audition's finished. X Factor, you know, Simon Cowell. That no, yeah, no, nah. no, no. Yeah, and then, yeah. So I remember I went home that day. I cried like a baby. Mm. I cried like a baby, and then, died. yeah, my my brother, my bro, my dad was encouraging that like, call. Cool. And then the next few days I was lazy. I'll never forget this. I was lazy. I was just chilling, like, mm. just like sort of whatever football's whatever in it. And my brother's like, "Oh, you have not touched the ball since that day." Mm. And I was like, "Yeah, was like, no, I haven't." But I knew it was building up for him to get onto me, so I just knew that the the there was going to yeah, be yeah, something the, at the end. Of it. Like, Something's coming. Like, 
bro was like he was crap again but at Brentford and you don't want to improve like you got you got to improve so then that summer I remember I just worked on my first touch I used to get I had a ball I'd go to the garden I'd make a square I'd just a few cones make a square just dash it on the wall take a hundred touches on my left a hundred on my right literally that's all I was doing doing doing, doing that um, and my touch got better in like three four weeks like my yeah. touch was sharp my touch was sharp and then I started seeing progression I signed for Tulsa Hill um and funny enough, when I started, when I signed for Tulsa Hill, I think I started, I think them times he was even still playing 4 4 2. And I think I started off in centre mid, um, just because I was quite dynamic, quite aggressive, robust. And important roles. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> um, but at that time, I still thought I was a striker. I still yeah. knew I was like, a striker. Like forward. Like yeah, so I was pushing forward. And then during the season, like they just moved me up front. Oh, right. Um had a good start, a good season. I had a good season. Um, and during that season, I'm, I started improving a lot. My, my growth was rapid because it was like, I had so much catching up to do. Like, okay. Once I got into rhythm, I was yeah. just improving, building yeah. up, building yeah. up. And then I got picked up by Fulham, was at their development center. Wasn't really in love with it. It was far. It wasn't, it wasn't great. What, mm. development center? Yeah, it was far. It was just, it was long. It was, I wasn't, I didn't have no affiliation to it. I didn't, and I didn't feel like they're gonna push me into Fulham anytime soon. Yeah, there was no just yeah. numbers, just yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. Cause I had one in Land Frank. Yeah. Um, mm. man used to do with one of my sons, and after a while, after that, you, I, I think I did it for about three weeks. I used to take <clears> him, and, and then after a while, I just goes, "Nah, man, the same yeah. for me." Yeah, it, it really, it really wasn't. So, um, I let that go a little bit, and but I still carried on playing for Tulsa. Um, did well, um, kind of started getting my confidence back, um, scoring goals, whatnot. And then in the summer of that season, so under 14s, it must have been. Um, going into under 14s or finishing on? Yeah, finishing under 14s. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, And then, so going into 15s. Mm-hmm. Funny enough, one of my bedrooms had um, had the older shot gaffer's number, the head of recruitment's number. Yeah. Um, and he's like, yeah, I went there. It's a bit too far for me. Like, that's what. But they offered me. I was like, oh, so he didn't sign this? No. I was like, oh, can I get his number? I said, yeah. I said, okay. So I've messaged. I've messaged the gaffer on my dad's phone. Like, like so I was speaking <laughs> as my dad. Yeah. Yeah. So I've messaged him. Blah blah blah. My son's this. He's at Fulham Development Center playing for Tulsa. Blah blah blah. I was like, yeah, cool. Bring him in tomorrow. Like nah, what? So I've got to try just like that. Just from a text. At 14? Yeah, I was like, yeah, all right, cool. So I've gone in. And I don't know, like, I started thinking, uh, while I was playing for, for Tulsa, I started thinking, I don't know if this was a good or bad decision, but I started thinking, am I good enough to be a striker long term? Like, You were thinking this? Yeah, I was thinking, like... But I'm, why? Where, where where did the doubt come from? Just seeing the standards of academy boys. All right, um, okay. Did anyone say that in particular that you had seen that you thought I'm not really like whoa there, yeah like right yeah no. there was a f- there was a few there okay. was a few because obviously I I started back obviously I didn't even mention when I came back obviously I went to school um I um I'd I'd gone to school um, I come back to that story and then I'd met loads of footballers at this time and I started playing for county oh, right. I started playing for oh, right, right, or right, district yeah. I should say yeah, South district, London yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. playing for South London. And there was loads of boys that there at the time that I thought, rah, you're uh, good. You are top. To be honest, anybody in our age group make it. Wesley, Showers, and then Miles Kenlock, I think. Oh. At the time, and I think it's at Miles time, at Ipswich, right? Ipswich, yeah. yeah. I think I, both at the time had just even been released from Palace. So okay, those are f- the rest. A few of them in the team are signed. Um, oh, those two got released from Palace at that time. Oh, I the think, time, at that yeah. point, they okay, were, they've right. even just got released. So, yeah, right. um, but yeah, there was just some players there. I was like, oh. These men are, are like a bit crazy. So when I went to district, district, I, pl- I was playing left mid, I think. And I knew I was only playing left mid for district at the time because the left winger was injured. So oh, I knew yeah. at the time I was not getting left into wing. that team. Yeah, long term. Yeah, yeah right. I knew at the time I wasn't getting that team. From. Yeah. And then I think, well, yeah, this is what made me play left back. I think the left winger came back and then... Gaffles like, do you want to play left back? He still wants me sort of in the squad. I was like, I'm not saying no South London is 
So I'm London was better than my grassroots team. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I'm playing with yeah, this real, is real yeah, best better players. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm playing with real, real good boys. Yeah, and and I think at that time I'd put getting signed at such a pedestal that I think it was like, rah, oh, I've got, to, I've got to be a next level to get. But signed. why though? Why do you think that you? Had earmarked it like, oh, I need to get signed. I need to get signed. Um, like as such a I just, paramount I, target for you at that known, time. That's yeah. what I said earlier because you've known about it for it, time. So yeah, it's so not like so you didn't know so the structure. That's the BOM yeah, now. So, so, so for me, it was I've, I've got mates now that play academy football. Oh, so you want to be part of that? Basically, yeah, I want to be part of that conversation. All oh, right, that was, that was a motivation for me. Let me in All the right. party. Um, I think another motivation for me was that's the only route I knew how to be a professional footballer. Okay, I didn't know about the non-league route. I didn't know about this route. I didn't mm. know. I didn't want to wait till 16. I didn't want to chance it. None, nothing. I didn't want to leave nothing to chance. So oh, I was yeah. like, I control my destiny. That was so the only yeah. thing yeah, that you yeah, could yeah. see. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. It was about getting signed. So uh, the trial's gone on. I think as the trial gets on, like, I see the coach is really, really supportive of me. Like, he, he kind of can tell that I'm new to this role. So he's giving me loads of instructions in terms of my positioning mm-hmm. and whatnot. Because naturally, defensively, 1v1, I was always solid. Like, if a man's taking me on, I'll tackle you. I think. I don't know what it's about me, but naturally I always had that. Um, <laughs> it was just more of my positioning. Um, so I started to work on that. Um, when to uh, go, yeah, when to stay. Yeah, how to shuffle over. Over, yeah. Um, was he saying one on ones was your. Was yeah, your... it was definitely my strong suit. 1v1 one, one one defending. One Bissaka before one Bissaka. One Bissaka flow, you get me? <laughs> <laughs> he copied my thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was very strong in that department. Um, and I remember I used to get to training quite early because my dad would drop me straight, pick me up straight from school. Mm. There was no point of going home getting changed. Just yeah. bring me out. So I get to training early. So I'd, I'd, I started going over football. I started going over football because I'd wait an hour. I'd be like, why am I waiting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'd go go inside the cage and just just be kicking the ball. Not Nothing serious, nothing yeah. structured. Not trying to show off like, I'm doing extras, I'm here. It was just, just me being bored. Yeah. yeah, me being bored. So. And um, yeah, so I remember one time he's... um. After I've played a few games, I think I played Brentford my first game, funny enough, and I got an assist. I come on and got an assist. Um, and so he's come to me, he's like, yeah, you know your trial's done this um, today. I was like, oh, so I'm like, is this how he's going to drop the bad news sort of thing? Like, just tell me if I'm done or not. Like, or at least wait to the end of the session, you know what I mean, to tell me. Like, I've been... Uh, this I mean, is at the beginning of the yeah, session. Yeah, so the beginning. So he's got... Well, cause he, he gets, up early. He gets, <laughs> there, he gets there like maybe 10, 15 minutes after I've got there. So we're just having a conversation. Right, yeah. So no one's on the pitch. He's, yeah. like, he's like, yeah, we're going to sign you. And I just remember, like, oh, dropping. And it wasn't a big club. It was not a big club. They were cat free at the time. But I was like, I've done it. Like, I've got signed. Yeah. That's, like, I cracked it. That's yeah, a big achievement I've, for me. I've, 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 I've done something. Yeah, yeah. I've done something. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, it might not be Palace. It might not be a West Ham. It might not be a Cat. Yeah, but you've cat, achieved it. But I've got oh, it. Once yeah, I've lost it. Yeah, I, 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 I get that. And I just thought, you know what? Yeah. Like after after a year, not oh two years, basically not playing football, and being half hearted, and I've put in a year of working. Like the only way can only yeah. be up. No, I remember you know? that. I remember you know? the boy being that thing, um, Brentford from five up mm. until he was eight, in like a development mm. center. So, and when he was in the development center, it's like there was hundreds of boys, bro. Mm. Like I remember we, I used to drop him, and he used to go with a boy. And then all of a sudden that boy weren't going no more, yeah. but my son was still going, yeah. and it went on for long. But you know, like near the end, you could see that they weren't signing him, yeah, but they yeah, just yeah. liked yeah. him. Yeah. So I was like, oh. and then QPR got involved, and then when QPR got involved, he went down there, he signed, and when he signed, it was like, that's why I respect Brentford and I respect the coaches down there, all of them, all of those coaches that was down there at that time, like Stuart English, now Birmingham. Um, Oli, that's now at Fulham. Like, I can name one. Yeah, Miguel Rios. Is it Rios? Rios? Rios. Miguel Rios. I don't, I don't Do you Miguel, know Miguel Rios? I know Miguel de Souza. No, that's the other guy. That's, that's the, the Asian league, looking yeah, guy. He was like lazy, lazy. Yeah, no, South this American. is like the South American guy that they got. He was working for Barca. Great mm. guy. Knew everybody. Everybody. Yeah, your name? Yeah, you? Yeah, everybody. But when he got QPR, he came in with a ball because we still was going Brentford at the same time. So he came in with a ball and I always respect it. Every single coach signed the ball and congratulated him and was happy for him for just getting in. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Mm. And it was, 
And that's what it was for me. It wasn't the fact of what the club was, exactly what you're saying, like all the shot and whatnot. It was just the fact that he was in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And like, I could say, Rod, you're in. Mm-hmm. You've achieved that. Yeah. Like, well done. So yeah, I get yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. Like, that moment of, yeah, glorification for myself. Yeah. Like, kudos to me. To you, yeah. Do you understand yeah. what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. Where I've mm-hmm. done that, like, Rod, this man's back in Palace. This man's gone rare, rare, yeah, rare. I'm in the party now. What are you telling me? So what? <laughs> I played my man this week, you know? Yeah, yeah. See, so the it. conversation changed. Yeah, so the I understand. Conversations are totally. different. Yeah. The conversations are different. So you're in, you're in now. Yeah, you've signed. So I've been signed. What now. age is this? Um, under 15. So, so just starting into under 15. So, yeah, so you're starting year, year 11 yeah. at all, yeah. all this shot? Yeah. No, year, no 10. year 10. Sorry, you're starting year 10 at all yeah, this shot. So how did, how, did, how did that all start off? Um, so for me, it was really good. So how all the shot worked was it was a mixed age group. So it was mm-hmm. 15, 16. They didn't have two separate age groups for that, that, that age. So I was playing with older boys. Um, and I think just getting signed gave me so much confidence. And I was just on it, was playing. Um, don't get me wrong, I struggled a bit. But I was always positive about mm. it. I was like, I'm improving. I'm getting better. I'm getting used to the tempo. And like, I just remember like always me and another kid always starting for that, that age group. Yeah. Um, and I knew... Oh, the younger ones. Yeah, the, the younger, younger ones. ones. And I knew it... Part of me always knew it was because I was a left back because they didn't have a left back at 16s. So I knew I was starting because I, was I had left as a left back. Yeah. So they didn't have no one there, um, apart from the left-sided centre-half who could play left back. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they liked him at left-sided centre-half. Okay. Um, but I didn't care. I was still playing. Didn't care if there was no one behind me or ahead of me. I was playing, mm-hmm. and that's all that mattered to me, is playing, playing, improving, improving, improving. Like, doing day release. Uh, like I felt like a footballer mm. at that point. Like I f- proper felt like a footballer. And... Um, I just remember like even doing my appraisals, my coach would tell me I need to get fitter. And then six weeks later, I'm winning the fitness test. Like I'm coming top three, top four. And like, yeah, these times I'm making real progress. Um, so I'll say my first year in Academy football was really, really solid. Good. Um, really, really solid. Um, and I was very like confident. And then um I remember I come back sixteens and then we've got the younger crop that have come, so the older lot have gone. So now we're the big boys. And like, I just knew that like, like it's scholar season now. Like, it's mm. time to get, let's get this scholar. Yeah. yeah. Um. And I remember, I think our first game of the season was against South End. Yeah, it was South End, South End, and um, I had to wake up early because I had to get the train by myself to go South End, and whatnot. Right. And I just remember the first speech our coach gave us. It was like. Yeah, there's only six scholars available this season. Huh? Yeah, there's only six scholars available this season. And there's about thirteen or fourteen of you on the bus or in the changing. Yeah, so they had we had the younger lot. There was about six scholars for about I'll say eleven players. Oh. Eleven eleven of that age group. So, so we had like the younger lot as well. Right. So we had wow. kind of yeah, so I was like, Oh, okay. Oh. So I looked around the room for me and he started breaking it down. Who am I better than here? Yeah, I was like, yeah, I got a fair shot. To be fair, I'm alright. Right. Um, I'm just looking at the 18 team. So mm, yeah, left back's good though, but but I'm good. So I started that season, started sharp, started sharp. Um, yeah, I played that stuff, and I was I was probably arguably the best player on the pitch. Right. Um, um, I think we lost that game two 0 though. Like, um, and then um, yeah, the season was going alright. And then I, um, it was the it was around the time of when Fabrice Mwamba had his heart attack. Okay. Yeah, and All then right. like I started to play, but I used to start feeling sharp pains on my left side. Yeah. Like while I was playing, like before I started breathing heavy, it's like tight, like proper tight. So I was like, no, nah, I'm I'm actually shook. I'm mm, not on it. Of course, I'm not trying to. Anyone would be. After I'm not that, trying after, to get out. Yeah, yeah, after I'm not that trying situation, to get heart attack, yeah. So yeah. I've obviously told my physio about it. And my physio was like, yep, you can't play. You've got to get a test first. We literally, because you told me that, you literally can't pay. How play. far into the season was this? Probably about five, six weeks in. Okay. Yeah, okay. so five, six weeks in. Um, at the point, at that point, I was okay with it because um, I wasn't on taking the risk. The only thing that annoyed me was the waiting list. Mm. So I missed like three weeks or maybe two weeks. Um, I got the test. Oh, to get it or yeah, to, to wait? Get it, oh, to wow. get it. Okay. So I got it. Everything was fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I, I went back to playing. Was it like a straight, like this is your final? Or did they give you um, the test results? Like? They they gave me my test results. I had like 
sort of in a regular heartbeat. Mm. But it wasn't a cause for concern. Okay. Um, okay. So I was okay. It was just trying to... They just gave me advice on how to some probably breathe differently. Yeah, when I'm to try to regulate it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and then um, I've come back. So I've come back and then I've started getting shin splints. Mm. Um, and they were really, really bad. Like, there was like little eggs on under my knees. And I, I struggled to walk. So I had to do a test and then I found out I got like really flat feet. I have to get special insoles. So that put me out for another two weeks. So... Out of like, I've missed about five, six games now. Yeah, a few of the boys are playing 18s. Um, I'm not because I've just come back from injury, so I've come back. But I think, and then a few of the boys are telling me they've got scholars. So I think three, three of them or four of them told me they've got scholars. So I'm sitting there like, wait, there's actually only two left. Yeah, <laughs> there's literally only two left. With what, like five, six? Boys yeah, like yeah. That? yeah. Like, um, I've hardly played this season. It's What's gonna happen? Yeah. So like, I start just moving mad when I'm playing like not moving mad in a good way in like a bad way in terms of I'm playing with bare pressure on my shoulders like yeah. oh no I need to get this scholar there's two left like every pass I make it's like oh that pass ain't gonna get you a scholar that's to not you. gonna get you yeah. a scholar that's yeah. not gonna get yeah, you a yeah. scholar and at the, same, it. at the same time you're sort of fighting this battle on your own like not not on your own in the sense where I'm getting onto my parents or, or my family but it was like they were involved, but they weren't involved. Like I would speak mm. to my coach about everything. Like I don't think I think by the time my brother was at uni, I don't think my dad quite got the system yet. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think I understood the system either. But I was just like, yeah, I was speaking to my coach. Or I was just text him. Like at this time, I didn't even text him. I used to email him if I want to chat to him. But I didn't think I could call him because he's like, I don't know why I put again. I put academy on some pedestal. Like I used to email him anytime I want to answer from him. Like, I was like. No, this guy's a big man for me. I, I, I don't can't know. talk yeah, to him. Yeah, I can't talk to him like can't. that. So, so at 15 as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, you, you know yeah. what I mean? I yeah, no, like, oh, I do. Yeah, then, so so yeah. for me, I was like, I was, I was asking questions like, oh, what do I need to work on? Um, like, oh, am I going to play 18s this season? Because they, they say that, oh, you got, we're going to look at you in 18s as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he was just like, yeah, no, you've, you're doing okay. Obviously, you've been in and out with, with injuries and whatnot. <laughs> So, yeah, I used to play with a lot of pressure. I started speak, seeing the, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> the sports psychologist at at Aldershot. Um, did I say that helped? Maybe a little bit. I don't know. Um, but I used to just still feel the same things. All right. Um, and then scholar decision came, and then they just told me, "Listen, um, we're not releasing you." But because you've hardly paid, we're not going to give you a scholar right now. Well, we want you to come back in pre-season. And work. Basically, have, and a, work and try and have get a pre-season it. with us and mm. try and get a scholar. <coughs> I can't lie, I was gutted. Um, I was like, what? Why? Like, but part of me knew I didn't I didn't think like I'd, I'd earn it. Like I'd earn it, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. um, when I come back from all of that, I wasn't great. I was like, hmm. So I was like, cool. Um, but I'm allowed to try like other places, right? They was like, no, nah, yeah, open door policy, but just know that we want you back for Easy. summer. So cool. So I was like, cool. Um, and then they got relegated. So the first team got relegated from League Two to National League. Yeah. Um, uh, budget's done. Done. From yeah. there, that the next day they announced academy shut. Everything mm. shut. Like we're not running the academy no more. I'm like, okay, so I don't have a club. I don't have a scholar. Um, and that 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 door was shut. Um, I knew that that was the end of the journey of order shot. Like in terms of that, um, I was like, rah, that that was abrupt. Like I yeah. was gonna go try and go back, go back, yeah, yeah, go back there, yeah, on on something, yeah. And then funny enough, I um um I would I'd go back to Afri sometimes, like on a Saturday, just train with them, um, with Tony and Stedman, shout them out again, um, and it was okay, like it was just. One v ones, it wasn't in like physical training. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, and Tony's come up to me one day and like, oh, do you want to go to Brighton? I'm like, of course I want to go Brighton. Why are you asking me? Uh, upgrade. Uh, are you not bringing me? Yeah. yeah. Upgrade. I got my boots. <laughs> so yeah, I've gone to, I've gone to, I've gone to Brighton. I've gone to Brighton now. Um, and uh, it's arguably worse than my Brentford one. Oh wow. Because I'll say that. I probably wasn't as bad at 
at, at the Brighton man. Yeah. But just because of what I knew at the time and like how it developed, the performance I put out was like a joke. Um, I was really, really bad. What well, like, you again, that down to, though? Pressure. Yeah, I'll say, pressure. I'll, say, I'll say pressure. Yeah, Self. I'll say pressure, yeah. Yeah, I was, I, was all, I was all over the gaff and it was funny because Tony kept, Tony kept saying to me, you're not ready for left back yet. Just chill. Like, you can transition there later. Don't play left back now. Don't play left back. Like, I'm not going to go and play a new position on trial. Like, mm. There's no time for that. Like I've not even trained for that. I was like, he's like, cool. Like, do your thing. I'm like, yeah, cool. And he but he was me. saying for you to go left wing. He was telling me to go centre mid. Oh, centre mid. So he made me eat my words. And um, and then I started dying myself. I was like, I'm not, I need a lot of work. Mm. Like, okay, let me as try a left back or as a player in general? As a player. I was, okay. I was like, mm, let me try this and everything. So I, after that, I was like downhearted. I was like, this is, that was bad. I was bad. Um, and funny enough, that day, Ademola Lutman was there. At Brighton with you? At Brighton. So um, I just remember him being so good. Yeah. Um, but he didn't get in. I I think he didn't take it. I don't I don't think he they rejected him. Okay. I, don't, I don't know the story behind it. To be fair, I don't know what happened after. I just okay. remember him being proper sick that day. Okay. Um. And obviously he was the year below me. And when I was younger, for a while I couldn't understand how somebody younger could be better than someone who's older. All right. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. I looked at her like, yeah, yeah. How is this kid better than me? Yeah. Like, yeah. You don't have younger. the right. Yeah. yeah. You're younger than me. Like, that shouldn't be running. Yeah, you're all right. Yeah, that yeah be so, so... And you're right, mate. Yeah, <laughs> so... But I had to accept it. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, no, nah, I need to do some work over the summer. So over the summer, I started working more. And then um, I told myself, London coach, I want to play centre mid. And um, I was doing well there. Like, I was, I, like, got to the final, won it. And I f- in the final, like, I think I got man of the match. I was top. And then... I was like, yeah, no, nah, I think I'm a centre mid, like. But what kind of centre mid was you? A four, I was, eight. I was, I was say more box to box. Like, I was active, like, okay, up and down, active, like, yeah. and I was a very good ball carrier. Like I was okay. very good at carrying the ball. I don't say I was like a dribbling specialist, but, but when I could, got going, yeah, you could yeah, move. Yeah, I could move. Like, yeah. I could move. Um, and then I was like, okay, so I've done this now, but what am I doing next season? And. Um, Oh, I remember someone had organised something for me to go to Hampton and Richmond and play for the reserves. Okay. Um, so you're looking at men's football now? Yeah, I'm looking at men's football. And mm. I'm, I'm like, it's Hampton and Richmond. That's, like, non-league did not appeal to me at, at all. all. At all, of course it wouldn't. I was like, no, nah, I'm not really on it. Mm. I'm not going. Then uh, my bedroom had been re- had just been released. Um, and he didn't get no... Con- he got, he'd just been released from Palace and he didn't get nothing after that. Unfortunately, so he'd gone to um, a place called Kinetic. All right. Um, shout oh. out Harry and yeah, yeah. and Adam, everyone, yeah, yeah. Kez, everyone. Um, and so he'd gone to Kinetic now, and he's like, Yeah, come down. I thought I'm going to Kinetic as a filler. I'm just going to use it for training, if I'm being honest. No disrespect to Kinetic, because yeah. what they did for me in two years was amazing. Um, but at the time when I went, I was like, I'm just going here to train until something pops up. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Um, and us training, training. Um, but was it, sorry, sorry to cut you, but was it the same college program it is now or was it more based on a team? It was a college program. It, it was their, so we was their pilot year. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it was oh, their first year. You are their first year. Yeah, yeah. so in, in, in terms of the start of their college program. Yeah. So and what college was you affiliated with? Um, I went to Woodcote, sixth form, I think it was. Mm. Um, and yeah, so we've, we've, we've um, we got there training well. I just literally had no inkling to think I'm even signing with this club. Yeah, yeah. I'm just waiting for something till someone comes up training centre mid. Um, and there were some good players there. There were like good players. That yeah. I was like, oh, right, you're not signing. It's good. Um, I was there with Wes, Charles, Wes, Miles, a few players. Anyhow, the list is long. Mm. Um, but yeah, um, so I went there uh, and. Nothing came up during the summer. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So I'd applied for colleges, like other colleges like SFX or whatnot. Oh, yeah. Um But colleges, college started a little bit late. I think they do anyway, I don't remember. Um, when I said so, SFX, yeah, you I put that. SFX first. Yeah. 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 So SFX. I thought everyone put SFX yeah, first. So <laughs> my my, my yeah, thing yeah. was I was going to go SFX and try and, and I started to sort of like maybe accept 
uh, non-league first teams. So I said I was going to try and just do the non-league route. All right. Um, why SFX though? Why not? Why not six form? We know why you put SFX yeah, down SFX first. Also, the more life team. Oh, yeah, just yeah, me, yeah. Just you know about SFX. Me. You know about SFX. Yeah, no, it was for, yeah. the, it was for the more life. Me. Saint Francis Xavier, <laughs> and we're gonna leave it there. Yeah. We're gone. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, a lot. It was a lot. But yeah, so I've played, but I've I've ended up registering for for Connect just to start playing games at the start of the season. Yeah, um, and I've played my. I think in my second game, I think my first game, I didn't even start. So I was fuming. Like, why would I sign that? How can I not start for this team? <laughs> like, I was big time like, in my head a little yeah. bit. Like, I've just come from academy football. I so what start with that. Yeah. I've been locking off training. You're mocking me. But next game I start. And I played really good. Like I played centre mid. I played really good. And like I remember, shout out Kez again. Kez pulled me to side. He was like, yeah, I heard you not. Not staying. You're big going, up Kez, man. Yeah, you're, big you're, up Kez you're, you're going, you're going SFX. And I'm like, to do what? And obviously, I'm like, I'm just capping. I'm like, I need to learn. I need to study. Mm. I don't really care about studying. Yeah. I just want to do the more life thing and try. <laughs> I want the best of both worlds. And then um, I was like, no, nah, this is the place for you to be. I've got time for you. The club, the club's got time for you. I was like, I'll think about it. Innit? And then the next day, funny enough, I got a call um, from a Brentford scout. He's like. Oh no! I got a text from my from the gaffer Harry. I was like, yeah, Brentford picked you up. I'm like, what? Hey, what second game in? I'm getting scouted. So I was meant to go on trial with Brentford. Um, the game got called off, and then after that, um, the guy who scouted me had ended up moving to Liverpool. Right. Um, I don't know his name, but um, but that's what sort of sold me on Connect. I was like, wait, I've been picked up after two games so people are taking this program serious yeah, yeah, with yeah. their scouts here yeah yeah um, I'll be I, you know I'll, t- I'll say, I'll yeah, t- say and, that after. and I, I did like the program to be fair I had my, my boys were there I got on well with the boys um, had a lot of weight in the dressing room I think everywhere I've been that's always been my thing where I've had a lot of weight right. in the dressing room where I've had a lot of influence um, um, so my boys were there like my really close friends were there um, we was enjoying it. We was grafting together. It was mm. it was all part of the struggle. It was like, it was like I'm involved. Yeah. I'm involved. I'm I'm sold. You don't even need to say that. I like so the program. Yeah. I like the coaches. And obviously, you know, me and the coaches clash heads a few times, but it was all part of the development. The development the, 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 you know what I mean? So, so yeah, the first year, I'd 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 say first year was more about finding myself. So I was playing centre mid. I was playing centre mid and like I would start getting asked questions like, Oh, why do you wanna play centre mid? And like and I started questioning myself. And I just feel like all of the answers led to I just actually just wanna play be a footballer. At this point, I don't even care if you lot say become a left sided centre half. I'd do that. I just wanted yeah, to get involved. Yeah, I just want to be in. Yeah, I just wanna be in at that just point. But I just felt like that wasn't the right mindset to have. I think it had to be planned. It had to be a plan. It had to be realistic. Yeah, yeah. And I just started looking at it like, okay, yeah, okay, I'm one of the better centre mids in, in, in this team. Um, but am I better than the boys that are under Eames playing at another club? And the answer was no. If not, if I was, uh, if uh, there was one thing that I was always really self-critical about myself, I wasn't in, oh. in La La Land about my ability. In, okay. if, in fact, I would say I was more of a pessimist about my ability. Um, right. I gave it a big one. I'm a ch- I'm a talker. I just talk a lot. Mm. Um, but that was sort of to mask me. Like I'm not sure about my team, but yeah, I'm. I still believed I was good, but mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I just knew I wasn't. Like, There's a couple yeah, of them yeah, that yeah, I see yeah, that well, but they were yeah, right, yeah. you know, still. So why at this yeah. stage was this when Wes had overtaking you? Yeah, Wes was better than me at this point. Yeah, at All this time he was better than me. So Wes was better than you, yeah? Yeah, yeah, Wes was Oh, was he, yeah? yeah Wes, <laughs> Look, I'm giving the side eye, Wes. Yeah. I'm giving the yeah, side eye, yeah, trust yeah. me. At this, at this point, he was better than me. He he was clearly one of the better players in the side, mm. him and Miles Kenlock. Um, I remember coming down there, yeah. to be fair. Yeah, so... Uh, like, shadowing Kez yeah. coaching and... There was a few boys, there's a few that I was surprised that didn't go yeah, the on, distance, yeah. I'll be honest, but the ones who did, obviously, just goes down to... You know, dedication, hard work, and a bit of luck as yeah, well. Let's be honest. But um, but yeah, but, but yeah, no. So the, that so so with me, like the players that were, I would say, rated more than me in the side. I never had qualms with because mm. right. I feel like at the time it was Miles and Wes being pushed. Yeah. Um, 
had no animosity towards it mm-hmm. because yeah, I was yeah, like yeah. they're being pushed because they're the best players here. Yeah. So I need to be one of the best players here to I be yeah, pushed. My um, and it was just more of started asking my of questions like. Start thinking, should I play up front? Should I play left back? Should I play centre mid? Like, what do I actually where do? Where do I want to be? Yeah, mm-hmm. right. Where yeah. do I want to play? So, eventually, like, I'd, I'd come to terms with, I'm becoming more mature in this football team. Like, 1v1 is still my strongest suit. I need to work on my end product. Um, and I think I'll be all right at left back. So, I transitioned back into left back. Um, and I'd say I started working on my crossing, crossing, and my crossing got to a very good level. I wouldn't say top because I don't really know what top was, but it was a very good you level. You could whip a ball. Yeah, in. I could whip a ball like really, and you're getting on the end of it. I'm not really what saying, we say, what so we're saying, you're a Reese James. What are we saying, yeah, Reese James, or we are Trent or a Trent. Oh, it was more Trenty vibes. Trent. Like deep, deep, deep rap. Oi. Oi. Deep raps. Deep raps. On the money. Oi. 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 Raps in the kebab shop. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, I said he's well, rapping. Yeah. 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 Okay. Raps. That's all yeah. I had. Them, them Turk raps there. I'd found my niche. I'd found my niche. A couple shish and all them things there. That's a niche. Yeah. Couple shish and all them things there. Yeah. 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 I'd found my niche in terms of the ball team. So I started, and I was very good at isolating my good bits. So, if I was good at something, I'd over-exaggerate. All right. So, okay. I don't know if this is, um, don't want to take my advice. I'm not a footballer, so <laughs> just don't take it. But <laughs> I'd purposely let a player have the ball so he could try and take me on. So and then I tackle him. Yeah. It was literally, a, it was a win for me. It was like, basically yeah. a goal. Come come like the reverse. The, in that, in the thing he used to do that in his early days, um, mm. Sturridge, he'll beat a man and let him come back because he knows he can beat, can beat him, him again. Done him again. Yeah. 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 So that that was my thing. I'd always try and get into positions to cross. These times I was playing left back. Wesley was playing on the left. Yeah. He moved to the left. Just used to link up for fun. Um. So I started feeling myself. So I started proper feeling my myself. And I remember we went and played a game against Peterborough. Mm. Right. And this lineup was crazy. If you're thinking about it now, the my professional, we had Omar. Redding. Richards. Oh, Richards, yeah, the left back. Yeah, yeah. We had Bryce A. Samuel, QPR. QPR, yeah. We had Josh Marger, Bordeaux. Bordeaux, yeah. We had Wes, Barnett. Barnett. Um, Miles Ipswich. Yeah. Those are the only players we had. I think I'm missing someone, but those are the five I can remember. Crazy. And we, we absolutely slapped up Peter, bro. Yeah. Slapped up. And I think that was one of my best games on the unit. And I, I just remember going home thinking, I've got to get picked up. Yeah, I've, they've got to take me. Were well, you heavily involved in terms of everything? Everything, everything. I'd scored, I'd assisted, I'd, I was moving mad, <laughs> solid at the back. I said, Yeah, they've got to take me. Man felt secure yeah, in his yeah, thing, yeah, man. Like, I'm going, I'm He's going, Peter. Next phone man call now. Secure. Yeah. And then obviously, like, I, Harry. Yeah, I know. I'm Harry. waiting for Harry to call me. <laughs> Harry. I'm just waiting Where for Where are the, you, mate? So I'll, go, I'll get a call from, from Wes, and he's like, Yeah, I've got did Harry call you. I was like, no, he hasn't called me. He's like, oh, well, what's good? Like, yeah, he's told me that I'm going to training, blah, blah, blah. And I remember being happy for Wes. You know when um, you get them phone calls? Yeah, then, no, we're not happy. Uh, yeah, but I'm yeah. gutted for happy. myself. You're not happy. You're not happy. Yeah. No, I'm happy for Man's Wes. Man's lying. I promise you, I'm, I'm, I'm always, one Man's thing about lying. me, I'm good vibes. <laughs> so, yeah. like, I was happy for my boy. Now I'll be real. <laughs> I'll be real. That's good vibes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like you came out, I'm not saying you know like five minutes later. I'm not even like saying that you had any right, hate cool. on West. No, no, no. no. I'm, I'm there saying, was yeah. no hate. Yeah. But you know that phone call where you look and the man's going, Cuz. Yeah. Did you get. And you're going, Oh, did you get the call? Yeah. Yeah. This is your brain because you didn't get it. So and, yeah, yeah. And, 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 you know yeah. when you put the phone down, you're like, It's hard to, it's hard to share that. that yeah. End, that so, 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 yeah, so, yeah. So, I'm not a part of it. So, happy for me, Yeah. So, for me, the anger was more geared towards or like, Peter, bro, like, yeah, yeah. are they of like, course. Are they, blind, they stupid? Like, can't they yeah. see what I've done? Yeah, like, yeah, I've done, don't I've get done me wrong. Wes, Wes was mad that day as well. Yeah. Calm was, it was like. But I done my thing. Yeah, I done my yeah. thing as well. Like, <laughs> I wanna be picked up. I, I, recognize I wanna, that, yeah. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. So it was more of a thing of. I wouldn't say like I was hating him. Maybe envious. I you were like, hating. Hey, yeah, no, there's no. Yeah. no yeah. Listen, yeah. he's your yeah. brethren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's your brethren, and you want your brethren to get to the next level as well. But. 
there was a mad hint of envy. And you understand? Because of, I want to get to the next level. Of course. Of but course. you're getting the opportunity. Of so course. it's yeah. not hate. Like, And if man say that, then they're stupid. It's yeah. not hate. It's a bit of, bloody hell, I need to get need to that. there. And yeah. How come mime is getting chose? But you know what? Brother, do what you need to do. do, you, do. Yeah. you understand what I'm trying to say? So, yeah, yeah not 100%, yeah, so, man. So he, he, he must have gone on. He kicked on. Um, I don't really remember what happened that frame match on trial. Mm. Um, and then leading up to the summer, Miles um, Kenlock's just been signed for Ipswich. All buzzing. So then you start feeling, yeah, there's momentum now. I can act. They're going to come. They're going to come. Keep watching. Um, and then going towards the summer, we're getting ready to go Sweden. Um, we go Sweden. Go over solid squad to be. What's that? Goffier Cup. Goffier Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, we go over solid, solid squad, really. Um, a squad that should have done a lot better than it, it was. And mm. I remember I pulled my hammy. I think this was the first time I pulled my hammy. Yeah. Uh, I pulled my hammy um, in training, like three, four days before Goffier. Mm-hmm. But I know at the time it was like maybe like a tweak. But I was like, nope, I'm playing. <laughs> like, I felt it. I was like, yeah, I told the physio and everything. The physio was like, these times I had a bit of a chip on my shoulder, so physio was trying to tell me like, "Yeah, you Chop are, yeah, basically in a sense, yeah. in a nutshell." I was like, "No, I am going." So <laughs> you need to give me these, all these stretches I need to do because I'm going Goffia. Yeah. I'm not yeah. missing Goffia. And then so I was, I get on the plane, we go. Um, I so I miss out the first game. I wasn't frustrated because I knew why I wasn't playing. Um, and we had a decent score. We had a rebo again, Omar. Um, yeah, Joe, Rebo. Joe Rebo for Big Rangers, Joe, yeah. Um, and then we had Wes. Um, I think Miles has just been signed, so he didn't come with us. So we had we had a few good players, and those are the players that were signed. Those players that were are not, not signed, signed that were decent, that yeah, were yeah. top. Like you know, you had your Daniel Hector's mm-hmm. um, and whatnot. Ricky Caboa played for us as well, actually. Oh, okay. Um, so Ricky Caboa was our striker. Um, so we had a solid squad. I don't know. was Josh. Josh, no, I don't think Josh was with us. I could be wrong. Um, and yeah, so we went to Sweden, and like I remember the first game, like there was bare fans. And at the time, I didn't get picked. I wasn't gutted because I knew what it was for. Yeah. But when the fans are cheering, I'm like, this is been, crazy. Yeah, like, been, I'm involved. Yeah. I'm playing next game by force. <laughs> so obviously, I'm pretending. Yeah, I'm calm. I'm easy. I'm playing. So I played the next game, and I think the next game we won. I remember it was raining, but. Like the fans screaming, shouting. I said, "This is, I've got to be a footballer. This yeah. is. We're talking about only like two, three hundred Swedish kids just shouting. Imagine like thirty thousand seat a stadium, like, going nuts, going nah. mad. Yeah, like, I was like, I need this. I need. It. I need to be signed. So, obviously, um, we won or drew that game, and then we didn't qualify for the next stage, and, and we started playing for places. Um, and I played the next game, so I played the next day. And I remember. I just, the next day, I, there was something in my head that I really wanted to score a goal. Like, so I was being proper greedy, to be fair. Like, right. shooting. I had a good strike of the ball. I had good striking technique. So I was just licking the ball, like, finding ways to try and lick the ball. There was one time I got a ball, like, in the tightest of angles. I've smashed it across goal and it's hit the post. Like, if that went in, it would have got ball in the tournament. <laughs> that, that was, a, it was a mad one still. And then, um, <laughs> <laughs> but once I've done that, I've put all power into it. Ham, so Hammy's gone. gone. Hammy's gone. Hammy's out. Hammy's done. Hammy said it's time. It's and, done. And I was like, Do you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of this holiday, man. It's done. So, but what I did didn't think about was the long term effects of it. So, yeah. we've got back now. Um, we're playing Barnet. Like in a few days, I can't play. My Hammy's literally, I can't play. Um, and they picked up three, four boys. That when they got picked up, yeah. where's they from? Yeah, they picked up where's from okay. that. Um, they picked up where's. Oh, um, so Wes came through and it kind of came yeah, through. Yeah, by yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, so they picked up Wes um, and they've picked up, I think they picked up Gondo and they picked up two other boys. Ryan Gondo. Ryan Gondo, Ryan Gondo, Gondo yeah. So I leave. Um, and, yeah, so I missed out a bit. Then we've gone into second year. Uh, and second year is a bit different now. Like, it was just like, what do we do now? What's the plan now? Mm. Like, how do you progress? And then obviously, like, I'd built a strong relationship with Kez. Um, we talk a lot, and mm. we he discuss football with me, and we talk tactics and and just everything about football. To be fair, um, he's a bit of a nut for football. Um, <laughs> he's a bit of a nut for football. So Kez, there's a Kez for football, and there's a Kez 
the human being, but either way, <laughs> big up Kez, man. Yeah, so we, we discussed football a lot and I think as we became closer, we clashed a lot more. Yeah. Um, Kez was heavy on the mental side of, of football. He'd find ways to frustrate me on purpose to see how I'd deal with it. Um, we'd argue a lot, but it was all out of love. I always knew it was all out of love. Mm. Like, um, And yeah, we um, so second year I started... Um, I think second year I might have been captain. I think I was captain second right. year. I could be wrong. <clears throat> no one hold me to that. But I was I was um I was captain for a few games. I know that much. I was think I was captain predominantly most of the time. Um and again I was, I've always been a big presence in the dressing room because I talk a lot. Um um so it was okay, but I just felt at the time um I thought I thought development wise I was being pushed. Um but I just got to a point that what is next? Like, what am I actually doing here? Like, yeah. am I gonna? Is this me forever now? Like, are they gonna find me a club, club or, yeah. or nah? And then, um, so you I still did, had playing in your head? Yeah, yeah, I still had playing in my head. That, that was that was all. That was all. all right. That was all. I started doing like coaching. Yeah. yeah. Um, voluntary scouting for Palace. Okay. Um, but it was still ball. It was still all about football okay. playing. Okay. It was still all about football playing. So, um. I was playing, I was playing, 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 playing. And then funny enough, I um I um I went to a showcase one time with um, my older brother and his friend. Um and they was scouting at the time. So I just went along with them because mm. I wasn't doing nothing at home. I said, Might as well come and watch. Yeah. Um I think it was like fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, I don't remember. Uh, so I've gone to watch. Actually, it might have been an older lot, but doesn't matter. But yeah, I went to watch, and then my brother's friend was like, "Oh, there's bare clubs here. Should we talk to them?" I was like, "What?" He's like, "Yeah, let's go and talk to them. I'll try and see if I can get your trials." Like, "Yeah, come." So we've gone around, we've spoken to clubs. Bare clubs are like, "Nah, nah, nah, nah." And like, not like brushing it off, but yeah. Yeah, don't, we don't, yeah, we don't, we don't need, we don't need no one. We yeah. don't need anyone. And this was under eighteens. Under eighteens, and yeah. then um, I've. Uh, Met this guy at Birmingham. I forgot his name now. I could be wrong. I think it was Simon. I could be wrong. And he's like, yeah, we, we need a left back. We need a left back going into Tony Freeze. And then blah, blah, blah. He's My brother's friend's talking up a good game for him. Amazing talker. Um, <laughs> big, um, up yeah, big up SG. Yeah, big up SG. <laughs> big up SG. And then, um, yeah, so he's talked up a good game. He's like, yeah, come. So he sent me trials. I've gone, I've gone in. And honestly, when I got there and I trained, I was like, so they had like a group for trialists and like they had a big group of trialists at the time. And I've gone in and trained. I'm like, I'm actually better than everyone here. I'm sharper. Like, I get the game more. Tactically, I'm more aware. And that's a lot because of Harry and Kez because mm. they, they really drilled that into us. So I was really like aware of high intensity and everyone was playing slower than me. Yeah. I was just really like, bap, bap, bap. I was like, yeah, I want it. I'm calm. So the next game we played a the game. Um, they mixed 18s. I think a lot of them were like first years and players are on the verge of Getting released. Get released, and then they mixed us with the trial. So they mixed the two teams. Mm-hmm. I played well, man. I played well. Played well. The only thing at the time was I struggled to deal with balls in the air, um, and I know why now. But um, I struggled to deal with balls in the air. Um, my time and everything was off. Um, I didn't quite understand how to um, manage it, but I did well. Like I got an assist. Yeah. Uh, I was up and down the flanks. One v one. I was solid. She was, felt good. Yeah, I felt good. Like I felt good, and I knew they were feeling me. Good. I knew they were feeling me. But then there was another left back. I think he'd just been released by another club, um, and it was like literally they made everyone so they gave everyone their decision that day, apart from me. Um, and it was like, no, we really like you. We want to get you in for a long sort of. It was like we want to try and see if we can get you, you for a longer period. You. Yeah, we want to see you in the group you. like proper. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, yeah, calm. And then obviously I knew. There was the other left back. I knew that game I did better than him. I knew he had more experience, but I knew that day. To be honest, I don't know if he's a first team or not. I don't really know. Yeah. I don't remember his name or nothing. But I knew I did better than him. So I was really confident. I was like, bro, I can really play at this level. Like yeah. I'm actually decent at ball. Like I'm actually good. Mm-hmm. Um, And uh, that's probably when I started getting more belief in myself again. I was like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> I was like, cool. So he didn't. Um, in the end... They ended up signing the other kid. 
the other left, uh, the other left back. Oh, I didn't right. I didn't get called back. They just put pen to paper there and then because. I think he had offers from other clubs and I don't know if it was reactive or they really believed in the decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. But that's not, my, that I, I can't make those decisions. So yeah, then yeah. I took it, I took it very hard. Yeah. Like, I took it very hard. I was going to say, because that now, oh, my God, that now, because obviously you're thinking what's next, but then you've, you've got this, is it just, you, what's, the, what's the, what's the mindset so, now? So, so, just... so for me, it was a bit of two things. So I spent a few days like sort of grieving yeah, that's uh, like grieving. Yeah. No, hundred yeah, percent. Like, like proper crying. Yeah, no, like, like, being yeah. stressed yeah. out. Like, yeah, yeah. sort of. Oh, this football team is long. But after a while, just like after a couple of days, I was like, but I've just gone on trial, and I've looked like top. And so I've still got something. Yeah, so I've still got something. That's a decent. But it must be someone yeah, or yeah. something. That, that's a that's a decent academy. Mm-hmm. Like, of course. Hmm. If I put course. in, because I feel like at Connect, I thought I was serious, but I wasn't. Hmm. Like I was like, I, I liked I liked a lot of other stuff. Of course, like during that do, time. During that time, um, um, and there was a moment for like about three, four months. I just got tunnel vision, where I just started. I lost so much body fat. Like, I don't know if you remember that period. I how much weight I lost. I'm all, but you're you're one of them. You lose and you put on. Yeah, you, you know me. So, so like yeah, so for me, I lost so much body fat. I think that I got to a point where I was like. Eight percent body fat. There was veins in my legs, yes. veins in my arms. I, I was just fit. I was just like sharp. I was like, I'm on it. So, yeah. but I just thought from that, I part of me just thought from me doing well at Burnham, there's gonna be a domino effect. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get loads more opportunities. I'm gonna go so many places. Like one of them's gonna bang. Like yeah. that's that. That was my thing. Um, so in the, and nothing in the summer. I went to Tuna Mitchum. They they sort of like said, yeah, like and I knew I was like them times I'd run from my house in Sherham all the way to Tuna Mitchell. Yeah, King train King Stadium, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Train yeah. and jog back. So I knew I'd I had the new mindset in my mind. Like yeah. I'm on it, I'm on it. And like I was really impressive at Tuna Mitchell. Um at the time I'd made a decision to play left midfield just because I was struggling to deal with aerial balls. Um, it was just I'm gonna do the same things I do at left back, but I'm being a little pitch. bit higher up the and pitch. And the defensive is yeah. a bit less. Yeah, the defensive responsibility is a mm. bit less. Um, because I knew I was I had the ability to be an old school sort of winger, like get the ball, wrap it, get the ball, wrap it, like good recovery runs, mm. good movement off the ball, yeah. like decent. Like, I wasn't I wasn't strong at one v one attacking, but but I knew I could knock it past the man cross. Like yeah, yeah I didn't yeah. have um, skill in my locker, but. but I had little bits. I had that. Yeah. yeah. So, um, the Andy, Ta- the Andros Townsend. Yeah, them kind of, them kind of vibes. But I, I always knew in my head that I was. Man said I'll that do- Andros Townsend. <laughs> yeah, he does a, he does a kick and run in it. The knock and run. got one piece of skill, you know. <laughs> not even <laughs> a step the over. Can't walk. Can't walk when he first started the kick not and run. Step over. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So I, I knew, but I knew in my head I would always go back to left back if I moved on. Yeah. Yeah. So I wasn't, I wasn't like a change position. Yeah. So I just knew this was like transitioning, like just. Accommodate accommodate myself sort of to get back. Um so yeah, they offered me um or they said they, they wanted to sign me. Um and then Kinetic had started the so most people a lot of people that didn't get signed at Kinetic had gone on to like they're going to uni, they're getting into full time work. I wasn't really ready to let football go. Football. Um so at the time Kinetic said they started a a third year programme and um I think this is where I made a mistake. Not not any any anything to do with kinetic, but I should have literally just moved Left. on. Yeah, I should have I done my time there. Comfortable. Yeah. I've, done your two years. Yeah, I've done my two years. I've done my Keep comfortable. It it's, a, it's a new chapter. But I decided to stay. Um, I'm comfortable. I'm a big leader in the dressing room. I thought there was gonna be loads of opportunities f- to to move on. Mm. Um but I started getting injuries during that year. Um start to fall like behind like in terms of I was just was never fit like mm-hmm. never like 100% you was. Um, and I was like cool and I was like there was a point where I was just like yeah this isn't really banging no more like and then obviously I see they started to push the young G's a lot um, like Ali Kiyoki shout out to him yeah um, big up big up Ali uh, uh, my young the boy. one that was left back yeah Burnley, Burnley. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's um, where is he now Bruce Bristol Rovers Bristol Rovers yeah, yeah. for the big up Ali so, so um, 
for me it was like yeah let them let them let them do their thing not like i'm some big pro and yeah no yeah, but you've been, been here yeah i've been here for too long yeah, you've done, done your yeah, time i've, I've done my yeah. time so I, we just sort of we left that at that and i was still working for connect so it wasn't like a burning bridges thing i was all right i was doing i was working part-time for them in terms of so you was coaching not coaching, yeah coaching right? in schools and and, and doing part-time voluntary scouting for palace all right um and me and Junior just started up Golden Stars yes. not too long before that. Um, so I was do, yeah, so I was doing a lot in terms of in and around football, but the truth of the matter is I still wanted to be a footballer at that point. And that was my only goal. So um, at the end of the under-19 season, I'd gone back to the non-league group. All right. Um, and I went to Burgess Hill, which was a bit, I wouldn't say far, but it was a bit far. Hmm. Um, it was just a train from East Croydon. Distance wise, outside, yeah, it? Yeah, just just outside. outside. Yeah, yeah. And I like, I went there again on the left midfielder vibe. All right. And I was just like, I promise you, I was like Neymar in training. I was doing man some, said Neymar. Was like, man yeah. didn't even go to Neymar. a little man like man said a little Andrew I was Townsend. Na- I was na- man yeah. said I was Neymar. Yes, yeah? I, I was doing some, I was doing some bro flicks in training and that. Like, man might as well went R nine. I was doing, you know, man might as well went R nine. I'm not saying I was that a Billy, but That's I'm just saying... Maradona. You could have yeah. said the local boys like a Rashford or Martial. Look at Pele. Yeah, I'm yeah, cool. I'm I'll tone it, I'll tone it down. Let's call it Ben Rama. I was Ben Rama. Uh, no, but Ben Rama, that's a big... That's a, 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 a bit, bit flary, yeah. Martial, you know what I'm saying? Uh, man yeah, there, you know yeah flary, just... But yeah, but you're hearing the names that are being pushed out, people. Yeah, I was a bit flary. I had to... Added some stuff to my locker. Yeah. <laughs> Started doing some bro. I said he didn't have the Townsend no more. Yeah. It was a bit more to this. Yeah. It, was, it was a bit more flavour. I said, said I had to be having man, a bit more flavour. Why were on that? Why man put yeah. two peppers and that in that stew? So I was doing like some yeah. bro flicks. They were feeling me. They'd like, they'd offered me. They're like, yeah, you're going to be playing next season. And at this time, I didn't really realise how, how big it is for some, not big, but it's how big of a platform playing non-league and and playing for these teams at 19, 20 years. It can really be. Yeah, it could be a big platform. But obviously, at this time, I didn't see it like that. I, was, mm. I still looked at professional football like, as the goal to be. So of course. it was, I wouldn't say a little man thing to me, but it wasn't, it wasn't a big, big, <laughs> yeah. it wasn't like a, it wasn't a big achievement for me to be offered. Yeah. I'm not I don't, It didn't feel yeah, like when you like got signed for it, all the shots. Yeah, it wasn't, it, it didn't feel like a win. Mm. Um, But I had applied for uni. Um, and I decided to go uni because um, at that point, I felt like I wasn't doing, I didn't have no real direction. I was like, I don't really have a plan B yet Yeah, because yeah. it's getting real now. I couldn't yeah, yeah. potentially not be a footballer. I didn't really believe that I wasn't going to be at that point. I was like, it's getting real. I've got to sort of have a plan B. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was like, cool, let me go uni. So like, when I get to uni, I'll find the team out there. So... I've got to uni now. I've just sort of given it a few weeks where I'm messaging teams in around the area. Where was you? I was in Portsmouth. I was in Portsmouth. Oh, okay. South Coast. So yeah, yeah I was mm. messaged Haven and Waterlooville. Just a few teams, a few teams around there. Yeah. A lot of them had already made their decision. Because like, you start uni in October, so mm-hmm. a lot of them had their squads. Like squad yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I, I went to a combined, a combined county side um, at the time. I trained with them once. It was like, yeah, like, Listen, you're gonna be our main guy this season. I said, like, "Come on, like, cool." Well, it wasn't a big thing for me again. It's like playing football. Yeah. Um. So I've gone in now. I played my first game. I played my first game, and this day was like really def- decisive for me. So like, I've played my first game. Like on the pitch, on the pitch, the pitch is muddy. What's the thing called? Um, Porchester, I think it was. Okay. Yeah. Um, yes. Porchester. Yeah. 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 So. They I've, bought a boy, Reading bought a boy from there. Oh, okay. One guy called um Andy Rigamore. He's with the first team right now. Oh, okay. sick. Very good little view. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I'm 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 there now and um I'm playing on the pitch and pitch is muddy, it's like rainy, the floodlights are dim. I just remember it like <laughs> being like a really bad day to play football. I just like in my head in in, in my head I was like, This is the last match I play intending to be a professional footballer. I'm done. Like I said it in my head. Right, like, right, like that. that. Uh, what on the pitch? On the pitch, in my oh. head. Okay. I didn't say it out loud, yeah. but but you kind of knew. You said it to yourself on like. the pitch, like the, within the first twenty minutes, I said I'm done. I said I started weighing up things in my head while I was playing. While I was playing, I was playing like, how's this gonna work with uni? And I'm coming to this. Like, I have to jump on a ferry to flip and get here because it's a, it's like a little island by yeah. itself. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, 
is it really no this is not I'm done like, I'm not doing this no more this yeah. is not this is what I envisioned mm-hmm. like yeah. I'm doing well in this coaching like, I'm starting to do well a bit in, in like working for I'm okay like and I was this ain't for me yeah this ain't for me and mm-hmm. and like obviously hindsight you say oh, I stopped a bit too early but at the time I literally had fallen in love falling out of love with playing football yeah um yeah. and I was like yeah I'm yeah, this this it's, one won. Yeah, Man, it's like, yeah. I'm all right now. Yeah, yeah, right, like, yeah. I'm, I don't mind saying that. You've beat me up enough football. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. We've had a good run, but I need to let you go. I didn't want to be. I did. Because honestly, I'm not trying to disrespect anybody who's chasing their dreams, but I didn't want to be like them 25, 26 year olds still like waking up early playing combined counties with the dreams of making it, with the hopes mm-hmm. of making it. I didn't want to keep chasing. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I want, time where you yeah. say enough's enough. Not yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just thought I'm done. Like mm. this is thank you, but and uh, yeah, I'm. Man, not, thank you, yeah, but, but goodbye. 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 It's been See it's been a long run, but yeah. yeah, and it and it and it and it. I remember messaging my brother and letting him know, and I felt some sort of disappointment in myself, where it's like oh, you kind of gave up, you kind of you've given everything, and you kind of didn't get anything back mm-hmm. in terms of reward, like mm-hmm. in terms of reward of, you didn't get one. You're one of many like that. But, yeah, then, but you, you, you say that, mm-hmm. but then you, in what you said you were doing the coaching. Mm-hmm. So for me in the coaching, that's where you're kind of giving back. And I understand where you're coming from yeah. as an individual yeah. in the sense of what I've given to the game. Mm-hmm. You understand me? Mm-hmm. What how much hours I've put out there training? How many mm-hmm. hours I've gone there traveling? Mm-hmm. Games that I've played, all of these things. But then you've gone into coaching, and it's not. I can probably say you've touched maybe a hundred kids just off the off the bat, just a hundred kids. Yeah, let's just touch. Yeah, let's touch. No, 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 no. Yeah, <laughs> not in that way. We just gotta be. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Business. <laughs> I'm talking about yeah, mindset. Yeah, we just have to mindset. make it clear to the yeah, yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> yeah, mindset. Yeah, because... Like he's touched him in a <laughs> no, mindset. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 that's where I'm going with people. <laughs> yeah, no, like, no, touching thing like, like, like that. Touch like, me, please, boss. But no, he's. I know you've done and dealt with over a hundred kids and. Well, that's coach cuz that's yeah. do you get what I'm trying to say? So you've touched people in a different way. Yeah, so yeah, for me, for me, like <laughs> at, at, at the at the at the time it was just like this is this is mad. So I was like I remember messaging my brother and discussing everything. And I just had a sense, like a feeling of disappointing myself. And like I remember like when I was a well, growing up, but when I was thinking of becoming a footballer, mm. I used to think I don't think like I let my family down per se, or they were disappointed in me, but I felt like I've let them down in myself. Yeah, like, because yeah, I'd right. say, like, when I get the big contracts, I'm going to buy my family out. I'm going to buy this. They don't have to worry about that. Like, yeah. I think, I sometimes think about it now. Like, if I was, I'm 24, <laughs> if I was at the peak of my career, I was playing Champ mm. um, or, 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 or um, Prem, like, what? would my mum be working still? Would my dad be working still? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. With my brothers, you know, because like no, but like remember who whose story do I always look at? Tyrell Mings. Yeah, he was at Ipswich, got the move to Ipswich, and he paid for his mum's mortgage. Mm. And I thought, yeah, you're a G. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. you saved up, you bought your mum. You understand? Even now, the other day, Brandon Williams, Man United, bought, G, bought, his dad's, yeah, bought, bought the, his dad's bought yeah. the dad the car and yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, same the car, thing. Sorry. Yeah. Same thing with the next year from Wolves, um, Luke Matheson, the one they bought from Rochdale. I ain't seen that he one. bought his dad a car as well. Like, okay. But I'm saying it's to just appreciate. Yeah, and that's what they're done. doing. It's not like, oh, here's a big car, dad. Yeah. It's just to just say, to say thank thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So for that, me, thanks. Yeah, yeah, for, me, yeah. for me, that, like, I used to, I used to think about that as long as, as well as being a footballer, I used to think about the other side of, of, like, football with my, my mind, yeah, my mindset was pretty clear that, like, Get get become a footballer, become rich, sort out my family, sort out my friends, um, start businesses that I want to start, and when I retire, become a manager. That that that, that, that was sort of that, that was, was the a, structure. Yeah, that was a structure. That was the line. line. Yeah. Um, and obviously didn't pan out like that. Um, do I have regrets? Of course. Um, would I change some stuff? Of course. But am I okay with the decisions I've made? Definitely. Um. So in 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 that sense, I'm 
I'm okay. I've yeah. I've got to a point where I've let it go. Did it? Did it? Did it? Mentally, did it affect you? For was it something that you took time to get over, or was it uh, something you accepted? Because obviously, you said you were playing a game and the build up to it, and you knew, you yeah, kind of knew already, but yeah. the game kind of just solidified yeah. it for you. So, is it something where you said to us, was it? Did it? Did it take time? Or yeah, was I think it? I think it. I think it definitely took time. Yeah, I think it definitely took time. Um, again, especially seeing like. And I think sometimes, even now, it's like, mm. not a footballer. Um, like, you know, you, you'll be at your, your mate's house and they're all talking about their game on Saturday and mm. I'm thinking about going to work. and I'm talking about, like, we're in different worlds now. Like, yeah. we used to be in one world, now you're like, on your professional football team. Oh, this player's cold, isn't it? Yeah, I played him last season. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Oh, Gaffer's jarring. Oh, Gaffer's sick. Gaffer's this. Yeah. Um, And it's like, raw, like... I'm a bit envious I'm not in that conversation. Yeah, yeah. I'm a bit jealous I'm not in that conversation. Yeah, yeah. But it never takes away my happiness for them. Like oh, every, 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 every game, like I still, to this day, I speak to my boys about the game. Mm. Oh, what could you have worked on? What could you have done now? What could you have done? Like right now, I'm okay with not being a professional footballer. But yeah. obviously, the little kid in you sometimes is yeah, like, course, course. oh, that could have been you, Kaz. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. but I'm, um, again, I'm very content with life in terms of that. It did take me some time. Mm. Um, I think I didn't cope with it well. Uh, I tried to do out of sight, out of mind. It wasn't really my thing because I fought yeah. by a lot. Yeah. Um, and being away at uni at the time didn't help because you're in a lot of isolation. Mm. Yeah. Um, you're by yourself a lot, so you're alone with your thoughts a lot. Um, so what was a coping mechanism? How did you manage to get over it? Or is it just something you just had I to think, I think accept. Over, over time. You I, think, accept I, think, I think I accepted it over time. I don't yeah. think I particularly dealt with it when it was on my mind. Like I would I would I'd say I just think about it, it would just sit in my mind like I'm doing uni work and I'm like, is, is this my life? Mm. Like no disrespect to anybody who goes uni and does their thing. It's top. Um no but if that's not in the structure that wasn't in the plan. Yeah it wasn't in the play. Yeah it wasn't in the play. So it was it was for me it was like why am I here? Yeah. This is Something's interrupted the plan. Yeah. Like, wow, what's, Here, it's what, not in the yeah, mindset. But, 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 but like part of me really wanted to up up my bags in uni and like really quit there and then. And I remember telling my brother that and he was like, no, you just finish what you started, man. Yeah. I just finish it. Like, just finish it. I was like, fair as like, I'll take my brother's advice. So what What was the... So what did you end up yeah. doing? Switching. Switching it. So how was? How did you turn... How did you turn... <laughs> how did you turn up to like... So for Basically. me... Yeah. For me... I knew I always wanted to still work in football. Right. I couldn't. I'd done the odd retail jobs here and there. Mm-hmm. I couldn't last more than two and a half months. Yeah. I knew straight <laughs> away, this life isn't for me. Like, I couldn't do it. Like, I didn't get on with the managers. Like, I didn't get, I didn't understand. I was very prideful, especially. Yeah. I didn't like the way some people spoke to me. Yeah. Like, don't, like, don't I, yeah, don't, don't. Mm. Like, this is not the time <laughs> for that. Yourself, yeah. But yeah, yeah. like, so for me, it was like, I have to stay in football. Um, so we did Golden Stars, went well. Um, that led me to um, becoming part-time at Palace mm-hmm. um, as a scout. Um, and I started to fall out of love with coaching um, for a lot of reasons. Not 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 reasons like the boys not turning up sometimes. You've got a small session. It's like, mm. oh, I've planned this whole session. For mm. I did tell you to take certain games. You didn't <laughs> want to take it. But okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Now we've got six boys. I've planned a session for 16. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Random get people that. are dropping out. It's yeah, like, yeah. I started to stop planning. <clears> I'm, like, <throat> I'm freestyling. Like, I don't even know how much I'm coming anymore. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not for me. Like, yeah. This coaching thing is like, I just want to be a manager. Like, But I have to go through this through whole process. This, yeah. yeah, I'm not on it. I'm not doing this <laughs> process <laughs> thing no more. Like, I'm not. Yeah. And boy, you think it's hard to be a man, a player, f- manager. It's different gravy. And then um, I was like, no, nah, I'm... So I started doing the scouting and I just knew it was my thing. I just knew it was my thing. Like I I loved it instantly, like watching games, writing reports and just giving boys opportunities that I, I didn't have as a kid. And yeah. then um and then I got a little I got and then I luckily I started progressing really I progressed really quickly at Palace. Um and I owed them a lot in terms of my journey and then I went full time at Palace. Um and then luckily this season I um I managed to get a role at Norwich City Football Club as head of London. 
Yeah. Um, academy recruitment. Easy, Congratulations, yeah. sir. Thank you. Easy. Congratulations. What's sir. that? What age is that looking at? Um, about 13s to 17s. You know you're going to start oh, you got saying a prime. my son's this. You've got son. a prime age group. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a good age group, though. Listen, man don't need no comments, no nothing at the like bottom. That. Like, it's all right. Yeah. My man can't get Hit your son Hit him up in. on LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> my man can't get your son in. Yeah. <laughs> Straight. Yeah. yeah. So, so what's up? What's, uh, what, that role now, yeah. um, how we how do you transition from Kaz the, the football player? What are you, what are you taking away from there to now identify the next, the next. Kaz? Yeah, or the next generation. So Do you know what I'm saying? The next future star. In terms of, um, funny enough, I think the reason why I'm a scout is because of the journey I've been on. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've taken so many things from the journey I've been on mm-hmm. yeah. to why I'm where I am now. Mm-hmm. Um, little things like mentality, discipline, yeah. Yeah. Um, adaptability, mm-hmm. ability and capacity to learn. Mm-hmm. I, think, I think anybody can see somebody who can kick a ball. Mm. Or you can, like, if you can kick a ball, if you're technically top, then everyone, that's going to stand out to a play, to, to everyone. Yeah. Um, but for me, it was like, what's the boy's mental side like? And, I, and I've done all three, like, in terms of... You reckon of, you like, can identify that in a game, though? Pardon me? You reckon you can identify that in a game? It's mental capacity. Yeah. It's the kid's mental capacity, you reckon you can identify that in a game? Um, I'd say you can identify parts of it, how mm. he deals... How he deals with um, his team conceding, his teammates making mistakes. Yeah. Um, how he deals with himself making mistakes. How he takes information from the coach, and it's it's important to see what information they're taking from the coach. Are they um, because the coach might be giving them a load of rubbish, mm. but is he listening? Um, and that's that's the important thing um, for me. And if he's not listening, is he making better choices? Then okay, so you you understand the game. That's yeah, yeah. that's good to see, um, and I just think um, I've just taken all of those things and all of those all of those heartbreaks, heartaches, and and I know how to deal with boys, um, especially from from London because mm. um, I can relate to them. My journey with my journey for football only didn't end too long ago, yeah, yeah. so um, I can give them a lot of advice. I can mm. I know what parents are feeling. Um, I know what boys go through when it comes to this scholar decision. I know what boys go through when it comes to being on trial, the pressures they feel. Um, I know where we all grew up in. I've yeah, been yeah. in London all my life, yeah. bar two years in Ghana. But mm-hmm. yeah, um, it's just I think, I think, I think my my natural love for it doesn't feel like work. So when I'm doing doing what I'm doing doesn't feel like work. Football never felt like work. Playing yeah. football never felt like work. Yeah. Yeah. I don't wake up in the morning and think, oh, I've got to write a match report. I've yeah. got to watch this game. I've got to organise this. I've got to organize. That doesn't feel like these yeah. are just tasks that I'm going to do anyway yeah. because yeah. I love doing them. And, and for me, that's that's important to just love what you do. And I yeah. think yeah. that's why part of me let go of football because I've always been passionate about loving what you do. Mm-hmm. And, I, and, and I'm a big believer in like your, your your where's your mental at yeah, yeah, yeah. and if you're doing something that's not doesn't make you happy then mm-hmm. what is the point yeah um so for me it was just like this makes me happy yeah um i enjoy it i get a thrill from it it's not football it's not playing football it's but it's, it's, it's the it's, other it's, side and i'm yeah, still it's part of it. it yeah and it's, and it's bringing part of the elements that i've taken from it like my leadership skills mm. how i develop my discipline um, timekeeping skills, my teamwork abilities. Um, I've taken that all to the other side, and I learned that all through football because yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't disciplined in school. Um, if I'm being honest, yeah, you said that. Um, I wasn't disciplined with my uni work, um, even though I, I, I finished in the end. Um, but so you graduate, yeah, yeah, graduate. Jeez, BA honors, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I don't, I don't, was I BA or BSc? You don't even know. Man's not even yeah, business. Man just knows that I get. I got true. Yeah, I got true. I got true. I got true. Yeah. Yeah. I just wore the cake. Uh, yeah, yeah, the the cap and gown. Yeah. And I, I done the thing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Um, okay. But yeah, so. Um, so going, going off of that then, because it kind of leads to like the last question, because I think you kind of touched on it, but from your experience, from your journey, relatively short journey, what would, what would your advice be to like a, a young Kaz who's, what are we saying trying to get the yeah trying to get the scholar because that's where it kind of yeah so I'd say 15, 15, 16. 16. so now nah, yeah you're saying yeah 
15, year 11. Yeah. Going into that thought pattern of... Um, the Scholars Local. So no, not even that, the Scholars Local. Because remember when he went into 16s, he had a good 15 year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the mindset <clears> was <throat> a bit more, yeah, powerful. You understand? Mm. But then when you had the little hiccups with the at 16s, that's what I want to know. Because mm. that's where little hiccups started to happen. Yeah. So what would you tell Vatka's 16, going through certain things, trying to find this scholar, yeah. yeah, and just trying to keep focus, really. Um, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Advice? I, I think I'd say, be obsessed. Um, be obsessed with football. I think I loved football. I wasn't obsessed with it though. Um, be in love with football. Don't love football. In love with it. I think those are two different things. So that links to the obsession. Mm. The only thing you think about is football. Um, the only thing that's in your mind is football. Every day is a chance to improve. And I don't think I had that mentality and that mindset. I just thought everything was smooth sailing. Uh, I'd say trust the process. There's going to be bumps in the road. Um, and just believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Because if you don't have that belief, once that belief and confidence starts fading away, you're going to be in trouble. And I'll just say, like, yeah, be obsessed. Work hard. Mm-hmm. Work hard and, and work smart. It doesn't mean wake up at three in the morning and go for a 15K job. Job, yeah. Uh, no, I don't really believe in that stuff if I'm being honest um, but I just work smart so watch football analyse football mm. um, forget about all the exterior stuff that's going on that will come you don't need to go to this party on Saturday mm. you can party when you're 20 19 <laughs> it's funny when you're young you think you're older than you are you think yeah. I need to do all this stuff now you, even yeah. when, you, when you don't when you even don't. though I know life is short and you don't know when it's going to end but there was no need to, to just be trying to be involved in that side of life yet. Yeah. Um, mm. I was young, like, I just think about if my little brother was doing that now, I'd be like, what are you, you doing? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. doing? Chill, like, relax. You've got all um, the time in the world. Yeah, you've got all the time in the world. So um, I didn't, I, I, I let that other side of life consume me a lot as well. Yeah. Um, so I'd say be more focused, more tunnel visioned. Um, and just more work, less play. Mm-hmm. More work, less play, and um, and and just believe in the process, and don't don't yeah. give up. Keep believing. Yeah, appreciate uh, it. Um, appreciate that. Man. Yeah. yeah Kaz, listen, really appreciate you coming down. Trust me. Um, well, world of knowledge. Um, and yeah, good luck with your new role. Cheers, man. Hundred. Yeah. If you hit 100. us in the comments, one in his contacts. It's called LinkedIn. It's called LinkedIn. <laughs> it's good. And if you're if you're being persistent, there's a fee. Yeah? Introduction fee. Trust just me. You know that. Trust me. <laughs> but um, listen, um, myself, Jaina, the big father, Dita. Um, hit us up on all socials, um, Chronicles of Football. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe Please. button. And, and comment. Yeah. Hey, have you subscribed to the team? Yeah, go on the thing, man. Go on, yeah, YouTube, bro. And when you leave as well. And you as well. But yeah, subscribe, hit us up on your socials. Uh, Chronicles of Football, stay blessed. Not every day you get someone who controls in between the sticks. Why football? It kept me off the streets, that's why my mum got me on it. Keeper, a black keeper. Not even trying to bring a race you know no, and all of no, that. No, no, but the worst person <laughs> got the yeah. last person. Yeah. Got yeah. Well, I started off playing up front. I was at West Ham when I was younger, playing centre midfield. Was at Watford for a longer period of time. So every time we'd be in a five-a-side tournament, I would always want to play in goal. When I was younger, I used to dive on concrete, do just mad things, throw, put my head anywhere, throw my whole body on the line. So I went QPR when I was under 16s. I done my cruise shit. See, I don't know the rehab I'm meant to be doing. I was back riding a bike in about two weeks when I shouldn't have been riding a bike. Got fit and I went Swindon. He said he doesn't see me playing first team in about 16 months. He said, I don't see me playing first team. My like, he's only 16. Well, within my first year, Southampton called. They said, no, you can't have him. And Southampton called again. They they actually called me this time. You're signing for the year. Who, who kind of stood out? Adam Lallana. Nathan Dyer. My debut was on my mum's anniversary. It's Notts County. These times, Notts County had all the peas. 